Well, good morning, everybody. I hope you are doing well today. I have tried to do this video several times, and every time I do, somebody calls me, and they're like, hey, Pastor Brandon, how are you doing today? I'm like, I'm shooting a video. <laughs> Hang up on me, right? Rude, you know. Uh, it is so good to see you on this wonderful winter morning, and we are getting closer to our countdown to beginning the 21 days of prayer and fasting at Real Life Church. And I know a lot of churches throughout the nation do this because it's a wonderful way to kind of get the month or get the year started off right. It's kind of like tithing your year to Jesus, which is kind of cool. So uh, no matter how this looks to you, I know that many people started this past week. We're getting started. So we're just kind of getting ready. So we talked about some different definitions of fasting yesterday. And today I want to really quickly challenge you with this idea. Why? Why do we fast? And so uh, the best way I can describe fasting to you is fasting is about getting close to God, not getting close to your getting. <laughs> what, what I mean by that is fasting is not your way of trying to prove to God that you deserve something. Fasting is not your way to convince God that you need something. Fasting is not a way to go, look, I've been a good boy. I've been a good girl. I've done the things. So let me have what I want, right? That is not what it is. Fasting is getting closer to God. Because what happens in our life is we don't see things as they are. We see things as we are, right? So we all have filters, you know, different filters. We have a different filter depending on how you were raised and your ethnicity and different backgrounds. All these things create different filters. Some of them are good. Some of them are not so good. But we have these different filters. And we also have filters because of different lifestyle choices that we have, you know, different types of media that we consume. And, and if you watch the news too much, you get certain filters and all this. And what fasting does is fasting is a systematic way of removing those filters so we can focus more clearly on God. And so what fasting is intended to do is not to convince God that you've been a good boy or girl so you can have all your things, but it is to get closer again to Jesus to remove all of the barriers, all of the bad filters, so you can see him more clearly. And so that's why I say fasting is not about, fasting is about getting close to God, not about getting close to your getting, right? And so here's the thing, when you get close to Jesus, all the good things come with him. No, but you can't get that backwards. Once again, this is not us being passive aggressive and saying, look, Jesus, I went without social media for 21 days, so let me have my new job. It's not like that. What happens is, is you do without something and you get a better view of who Jesus is. And at the end of the 21 days, you may realize, actually, I don't need a different job. I need to plug in more because God has sent me here for a purpose. Or he may open your eyes to see a completely different thing. You never know. But if you go into it going, I am fasting so that I can get from God, then you're going to be challenged because what may happen is God may need to work on something in your life. And if you're focused on this direction, he's trying to get you to go this direction you might walk away from your time of fasting feeling like a failure. And that's not the case at all. Anytime you give anything to God, there is a fruit that comes from it. But I want to encourage you to think really hard between now and this coming Sunday why you fast. And once it, it's okay to pray for things, but let your number one focus not be to get, but to get closer to Jesus. And with him comes all of his toys. Okay? Now, once again, we're not, we're not fasting to get. I'm just saying... You want to be blessed by God? You want to all have all these things? Get close to Him. It's just like when uh, my kids, you know, they, they were talking about one time about how they uh, they wanted to uh, to get something from me. And I was like, I just want you to spend time with me. And they're like, yeah, but can you give me? I said, no, no, you spend time with me and all the blessings of the Father <laughs> come with me, right? Just spend time with me. It's what I care about. And that's what fasting is. So when you're thinking about fasting, think about this thing. Why? And make sure your number one why is because I want to get closer to Jesus. All right? Countdown to our fasting. It's one of my most favorite times of the year. Can't wait to start this with you this Sunday. Talk to you soon.